One of the first things you're going to need to do is buy a domain name, which is just simply, you know, blah, 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 dot com, whatever you want the, the address of your website to be. Now, um, you know, before you buy a domain, you obviously are going to need to think about what the subject matter of your blog is going to be. Um, if you already own a domain, then that's great. If not, you're going to need to put some thought into it to determine what you want to call the website. Um, some of that gets into, you know, selecting your market and things like that. I highly recommend if you have not read my six figure blogger blueprint, which is freely available right here on davidrisley.com to go ahead and opt in and download that blueprint report because I do talk a lot in there about selecting the right markets to blog in. Um, but if you already know what you're going to do with your site, whether it be uh, just personal stuff or whether it be blogging for your offline business, whatever it is, just pick the right domain name for you and then it's going to come down to buying it. Now, there's a couple options I'm going to tell you about on this video real quickly. The first one is very, very popular and it's called GoDaddy. Perhaps you've heard of it. They do Super Bowl commercials and they have hot chicks on there, as you could tell from their their website here. Now, GoDaddy is really popular and they're great for domains. Um, and I've, I've still got many domains that are registered with, with GoDaddy. Now, I will say as, a, as an aside, do not, in my opinion, use GoDaddy for web hosting. I don't think they do a very good job with web hosting. I really just don't recommend you go that route. Uh, I'm going to be talking about web hosting in the next video in this guide. And I really recommend that you go with my solution rather than GoDaddy because GoDaddy Daddy, um, I've just heard of a lot of issues and how they're, and I just have, I'm not going to go publicly bash and go daddy, but I'm just not a fan of their hosting at all. Domains, however, they're, they're good. They're perfectly fine. Now, here's the thing. You go daddy. Um, they're really, really heavy on the marketing. So when you're buying a domain, you're going to be constantly being upsold into things uh, that you're going to have to decline. They're going to try to sell you all kinds of add-ons and things like that. And I'm here to tell you that you can get a really great deal with GoDaddy for your domain, but you do not need any of the add-ons in my opinion. So just go through, decline all their upsells, buy your domain name uh, in order to you know register it and you'll be perfectly fine that way. Now, an alternative to GoDaddy that I've been using lately is that Namecheap. Uh, you know, nice simple name, um, and they don't, I don't even, yeah, I guess maybe they do do hosting, that's all well and good, but I don't use them for hosting, I just use them for domains, and here's the beauty of it, is if it, it doesn't have all the upsell stuff, it doesn't have all the complexity every time you want to go on there and change some setting on your domain name, it's just a much simpler experience here with Namecheap in my opinion, so, um, you know, and it pretty much costs exactly the same, if I'm not mistaken, so, I think Namecheap is a great company. That happens to be where I'm buying a lot of my domains these days is through Namecheap. I still have quite a few of them that are registered with uh, GoDaddy, and that's fine. Uh, slowly but surely, I'll probably transfer them over here to Namecheap. But um, for your purposes, just pick whichever one you like. Um, GoDaddy, you'll be fine. Just have to decline some upsells. And Namecheap, I don't think you're going to get pitched a whole lot. So I think it'll be a lot more of a cleaner experience for you.